Hey everybody, welcome to Plugin Tut. I am your host, Matt. This is your home for handcraft and WordPress plugin tutorials. And today we're taking a look at the killer new feature of Ninja Forms 3. All right, so what's new in Ninja Forms 3? Well, almost absolutely everything. Uh, the whole user interface has changed for the better. It's smoother, it's streamlined, it's more app-like. We're gonna take a look at it in a second here, but some of the changes coming through from their own blog post, you can go to ninjaforms.com slash ninjaforms3live, check out all the information here because I won't go through it all, but gorgeous new drag and drop, we're gonna look at that, streamlined simplified settings, awesome sandbox forms so you can edit uh, on the fly forms without impacting your visitors. That's amazing. I love that uh, little nice touch to Ninja Forms 3 and a whole bunch of other things that make it a lot more powerful. If you're a developer or a designer, well, there's good news for you too because you can do all kinds of things with front end template editing and customization, adding, uh, creating add ons a whole heck of a lot easier. Check that out, especially if you're a developer or you want to get into creating add ons. Speaking of add-ons, there's another blog post that they have here that came out a few days ago. It's called the Three Update Guide Checklist. You're going to get uh, Ninja Forms 3 if you go to wordpress.org slash plugins slash ninja hyphen forms. But uh, if you're in your WordPress dashboard, you can also upgrade if you've been using Ninja Forms for quite some time. It's important to note that only 16 extensions are launch day ready. There's over 50 extensions for Ninja Forms, but the most popular, most powerful 16 extensions have been updated so that they are compatible with the new version. So you can rest assured that if you want to double check, go to this blog post and then click on the 16 launch day extensions and you can see which ones that are, uh, which ones are going to be compatible, conditional logic, layout and styles, MailChimp, Emma, a lot of all of these most popular contact form, Ninja Forms uh, add-ons are going to be ready for you for the upgrade. So now, now that you know all that awesome stuff, you know Ninja Forms 3 is live and ready to go, let's take a look at some of the new... All right, so now we're going to take a look at this awesome new UI that Ninja Forms 3 has. And we're just going to super quickly compare what it was like for the older version and now what we have in the newer version. And in fact, it's a very traditional view that a lot of contact form builders use. And it's the traditional, what I'll call traditional WordPress options page. Now, uh, this is not working 100%. This is in a dev environment, but you get the idea back in the day, just a mere few days ago, <laughs> you would click on these fields and sort of add them. And you have all your, your fields here and you would sort of just drag and drop and move them around and do all your things. And you could expand it and change the options. And it was sort of a, you know, it was fine. It was a very traditional way of doing things. When you clicked on emails and actions, you'd sort of have to make sure your data was saved. You can go in here and, and do the different things with emails and actions and set that stuff up. And when you go to settings, you're clicking on that. You're brought to another screen. Things are a little bit uh, just more traditional. Nothing wrong with it. A lot of plugins still operate this way. But what I think Ninja... Forms is blazing a trail on is this app like experience. So we're going to go over to the new version and we're going to edit uh, the, st the stock contact me form. So as soon as this loads up, boom, you can see that we have this brilliant new interface. We're sort of loaded into this app like feel, which is awesome. And we just, we just have our contact form fields in front of us. It's name, email, message, and submit all the traditional stuff that uh, you're used to having in a contact form. And again, you can grab these fields and drag them around, but look how smooth that is and how interactive and immersive the, the, the uh, editing experience is like. You get these little hover effects when you want to duplicate fields and you want to delete fields. You can click on the little gear icon. Um, and when you do that, the little tray slides out from the right hand side and now you have all of those options in here that you had in uh, the more traditional options page that we just looked at before. So I'm just gonna hit done. Uh, what I also like, which I believe they had in the last version is you can favorite these fields if you want to save them because you're gonna use them over and over again. You can save them to a favorites, that kind of thing. That's really cool, that's a nice little touch there. As we move along, uh, you'll start to see, and if you, as you start to make changes to your new Ninja Forms, you get the little history icon pulls up and you can start to, I haven't made any changes yet, but if I go into adding a form, let's say a date field, I just click on that uh, plus uh, icon down below that I can drag and drop and reorder my date field here. But as I go and start to build these out, you can see that this starts to collect all of the changes that I make to my form. So if at any point I realize, you know what, uh, I didn't mean to put these the date field here, or maybe I wanted something from 
before that I had deleted, I can go back and find those revisions, if you will, and restore them to this form. That's an, that's an amazing little feature uh, that I really enjoy about this new version. Uh, back to the, the window of adding fields here. Uh, you can see that we have a, a ton of fields, and one of, the, one of the things that I love the most is you can see that I saved that email field before, and it saves it in my little save fields here. So again, if I'm building a lot of forms, I'm a consultant, I'm a web uh, WordPress developer, uh, or maybe I'm just a marketer and I'm using Ninja Forms to build a whole bunch of landing pages, that kind of thing, I can save all those fields and get quick access to that. But I also love the little filter. So if I start to type in add for address, it'll just automatically drill it down and I can select address and just drop it in uh, to my form. I can rearrange it again. I can go ahead and hit the little gear icon. That'll pull up the settings for that field, and I can go ahead and sort of customize that um, as I see fit. Moving along, I can go to emails and actions, and this is all the stuff that I wouldn't say it was clunky in the old uh, version of Ninja Forms. It was just a, a more traditional way of doing things, and now we're going to see that we can uh, do a lot more with emails and actions, and more specifically we can get access to these add-ons. Now, it is uh, worth a mention that, of course, you would have to pay for these add-ons if you, if, of course, if you need them. But again, if you're, you know, for example, building an, a newsletter or an email list and you use MailChimp, you click on MailChimp, it's going to bring you over to uh, the MailChimp's add-on page, or excuse me, the Ninja Forms add-on page for MailChimp so you can get access to that. But it's just a great way to show you what is uh, available for purchase, um, so that as they roll out more add-ons, you'll have immediate access to that. You won't have to go fishing around. You won't have to think, well, gee, is this going to work with MailChimp and Amon, Constant Contact, uh, or Slack? It's all right there. Moving right along now, when you're going to go to uh, email someone, for example, this is email action. It's going to email. I'm going to say, who is it going to go to? What's the subject line? What's the message? And then I can go even more advanced, like HTML or text, that kind of thing. This is becoming a lot more powerful, a lot more streamlined too. And I really do enjoy uh, some of the nooks and crannies of <laughs> the user interface uh, of this contact form builder. Let's move on over to the advanced section. So looking at the advanced section, uh, again, th these options here, they used to just be in that more traditional display. Clicking on them brings in this, the the sidebar to the right, the dock to the right, and now we have all of our options here. We can go into display settings, restrictions, calculations. The idea here, and the biggest change to all of this stuff, is we're all on one page. There's no distractions. I'm here to build my form. We know that. We know that we're in Ninja Forms because we get the little branded icon up top, or branded logo up top, but there's not a lot of, there's no page reloads, right? And that saves us you know, over the course of building many, many hundreds, if not thousands of contact forms over your career, that saves a lot of time. And it's just a lot of frustration and load time. Uh, and there's no flip-flopping back and forth. Uh, it's very easy to sort of navigate. So I'm going to go ahead and hit publish. And once we hit publish, our form is ready. So we can go ahead and preview the form. And previewing the form is no different than uh, before. It's going to be live in your front end uh, of your website, so you can kind of see what it's going to look like. You can understand what the fields are going to, uh, how the fields are going to react. And then this would give you the option to say things like, well, you know what, maybe I want the name field uh, for whatever reason to be loaded on the left or below uh, the, pos uh, the, the label position. So maybe I'll just go for below the element for now. I'm going to hit done publish, and then I'm going to preview the form, and that'll put the uh, name label below that, and you would go ahead and go through all of those fields to do stuff like that. That's a big change uh, to Ninja Forms. This whole user interface is amazing. It's well done. It's very streamlined. It's very appish. Uh, I love that word. It's very appish. And uh, you can build forms now like a pro with Ninja Forms 3. Go get it. WordPress.org slash plugins slash ninja hyphen forms or just ninjaforms.com. That'll get you the new version of Ninja Forms. As always, plugintut.com, plugintut.com slash subscribe. Join the mailing list. And if you do enjoy videos like this, go ahead and upvote them in YouTube, share them with friends and family. It really helps us get found on the YouTubes. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>